platform, right, and escaping where you target like either the citadel or um, yeah, you see multiple. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's that. Yeah, but. It depends how many of your character shoots down with the Tesla cannon. Because if you see Oxhorn on YouTube, that motherfucker doesn't show mercy towards Enclave soldiers. As soon as they land, Enclave troops don't get a chance to fight. They just get blown the fuck up. On the spot, on the vertebrate, and it's like, God damn. And he's like listening to these enclave hall tapes of like scientists and shit like that. And he doesn't even feel sympathy. Cold hearted bastard, you know? <laughs> Here's why I didn't follow three. If I saw a dead enclave soldier, I would take his armor. If I see another Enclave soldier and he's alive, I just use the Mephismatron, take his armor, and walk away. Because it's better than killing him. I also wanted to do an idea. What happens if you play Broken Steel without killing any Enclave soldier? And blow up the Citadel without killing any Enclave soldiers. And come back. If you come back, what happens? Do the Enclave patrol and like treat you as a friend? Or will they still treat you as a hostile? No one has ever done that. And I, I tried seeing videos. No one has done that. I, I'm yet to do it. I'm yet to do the challenge. Because you, you see Enclave vertebrates flying by. Yeah, Brotherhood tells you to kill them. And they launch a Brotherhood uh, amphibious attack force, right? What happens if you kill the attack force? And the Brotherhood just, the, the Enclave just roam free, like walking around. I, I actually don't know the answer because I heard I heard rumors that you can go back to Adams Air Force Base after Broken Steel so and I never played Broken Steel yeah but if it is possible that you could actually spare the Enclave and they actually become your ally it actually proves to President Eden that you could join the Enclave. Yeah, the Enclave commander, but it's about Enclave assault. Uh, verte vertebrate assault team. Heavy squad, heavy weapon squad, and all that. I didn't do that. But, I got multiple, I got all the companions from Fallout 3. And just dressed them up as Enclave soldiers. Plus, I got Sydney and the three members that you had to uh, get back to little lamplight. Sticky, Red, and whatever the other guy's name. Shorty. So, I got those guys. So, teenage soldiers. I got Sydney. I got Clover. And I got all the companions without any mods. The only thing is you have to do 
is kill dog meat. And if you think that's hard, it's very hard. He's your level. Even a fat man won't kill that bastard. So I, t I took him to the Citadel, right? To recruit Star Paladin Cross. It almost killed one of my companions. It took two... It took Elder Lions, Scribe Rothschild, Sarah Lions, and every one of the ones that was in the uh, freaking Liberty Prime area, right? They were stuck in a little room, and I gave my boys a whole lot of guns. A Gatling laser. Vengeance. Mini guns. Hell, I even brought him a fucking missile launcher just to take him out. He didn't die. There was no plasma gat. Yeah, mine was the PS3 version, so there was no mods. So everyone was attacking him, and Dogmeat did not die. My game almost crashed, and as soon as he died, man, Star Paladin Cross gave her life. Four Brotherhood Paladins died, and one scribe. So it's like. Damn! This is one vicious dog. Cover was... The funny thing is, I, I uh, reverse pickpocketed in him. And I gave him, I don't know what I gave him, but I think it was uh, Naughty Nightwear for his, uh, <laughs> for his robes. And he wore it, and I got his robes, Elder Lion's robes, but I couldn't see my Pip-Boy. So I just gave it to one of the uh, big town residents, and it's like, hey, it's a female Elder Lion's. Damn, that thing looks big on you. <laughs> so it's like, goddamn. But I reloaded a save because I kind of didn't want that. Because Big Town, I always picture it as a uh, a potential enclave settlement. Red as the uh, scientist wearing the Enclave scientist outfit. Uh, Shorty and Sticky wearing Enclave armor, both XO2 and Tesla power armor. One with a Gatling laser and the other with a plasma rifle. Actually, no, a minigun. Because, come on heavy weapons you're gonna need it and what I recommend for big towns defenses were guns yes but the weapons they're using is garbage so robots is the best one because they could stock up on guns and they could stock up on the fucking robots plus a sentry bot and a fucking mr. gutsy yes The Spiritual Wood, 9700. Oh, the Spiritual Wood, uh, 9700. The one you get in, um, Silver, Silver Rush. 
Living life. No, it was. The... Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really kill him. I let someone else do it for me. You could just drag it into the bathroom and like just take it. Oh, easy. Easy. Put a bucket on his head. <laughs> or hmm what you can do is take the weapons put it by the door put everything you want by the door and quickly take it all and leave and the only thing you have to worry about is the one guard outside. Yeah. But Simon is a era is not a replaceable guard, so technically if you come back to the Silver Rush, you'll have four Silver Rush guards rushing you, like Ah pew 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 pew. pew. The funny thing is, in the Lonesome Roll DLC, if you get a laser detonator, and you have a fat man, grand, right? If you do the uh, weapon wheel on the fat man, and like, say you're gonna put your uh, fat man on the weapon wheel, if you hold R2 and go to ammo, you could select what you what ammo type you want on your weapon wheel. And if you go on your laser detonator and say, Command a big kid grand, right? Unlimited ammo! Boom, 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 boom! So, basically, how I said, Ed Cons, everyone's dead! Except, uh, independence, uh, like Freeside, for example. Uh, Jacob's down. So, oh. It was, um... Archimedes! You activated Archimedes? What the hell are you thinking? The NCR is about to be baked and is about to get what they deserve. Oh, to hell with this! And RK just attacks you. Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> yeah. 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 The funny thing is, I kind of like did one similar thing, but it is in Fallout 4. When you help the Chinese and you get homing beacons, right, to launch in orbital strikes, well, ICBM nukes. I duped a whole lot of it with dog meat. And I got over like 2,000. And every time I have a settler, I just say, hey, here I have this. They don't even use it. They don't even use it. So I'm left with 2,000 ICBMs. But I did kill the uh, Chinese submarine guy. Oh yeah, that's what I did.
what's what's a shame is that you can't exactly call in a Minuteman vertebrate to your position and take down the Raiders. Yep. <laughs> And the way it just like launches is it like a giant shotgun bullet just tong. <laughs> Boom. The only the only thing I hate about dog me is that every game he's an annoying sack of shit and he's like he's glitching out something like that I believe <laughs> if you ever played Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain dog meat dog meat is basically in that game and he'll be the annoyance of you when it comes to attacking enemies especially when you're driving a vehicle when you tell him to stay in one place when you get inside the vehicle he's running around and he's in the back right I'm trying there's no option to say move get the fuck out of the way just stay put or go kill the enemy Yeah. Well, Bethesda, you know Bethesda, they're just lazy. They fuck everything up. But at least... Actually, no, I can't say anything about that because they did fuck up on one thing. They removed Nuclear Winter. Oh, they did. And they could have done so further. The, the only problem with that is the fact that, uh, what's it called? They worked together on Falcon La Fallout New Vegas, and basically Bethesda got the bigger paycheck, and they didn't. That's a big screw up over there. Yeah. thing is Black Isle or like uh, Obsidian now doesn't really have access to Fallout because now that's Microsoft yeah the thing is I if you listen to the hall tapes around White Springs and shit like that, it shows the fact that there was more to this uh, Enclave bunker. Rather, because if you compare it to the outpost in the transmission station, they had living quarters, they had a science wing, weapons lab, and we don't see the weapons lab here. That thing got destroyed. It's underneath the ground, and you see a passageway going down. But, yep, it's destroyed. Everything's destroyed, and it's like, Bethesda, we haven't explored these areas, and you're putting these under the dirt like it never happened. Show us the shit.
Hold on, I need to check something. So, I'm in the White Springs bunker, right? And there was the uh, room where you see Modus in the mirror. So, like, I'm looking at, like, the memory banks, right? And one of them's red. Let's see. I'm not talking about the sentry bots, I'm talking about, like, the blue lights. Yeah, it's just one red light. Yeah, it says here, residence area. Residence quarter, sanitary stations, connection loss, library, connection loss, residence, connection loss. So there's that area. Uh, operations mainframe. That's still there, operational. Communication center. Uh, nominal Kovac Muldoon good and facilities loss production center everything's all good except the disposal center offline science wing we still have medical wing military wing and it says here we we they own the Harper's Ferry pipeline, but it's damaged. So the Enclave, in the beginning stages of Fallout 76, these are this is the only faction that's still alive. And what's funny is House. There's no option to say like, "Have you discovered the Enclave?" Yeah, she she only got to like boot camp, but there's no option of like saying if she found the enclave. Yeah, so it's like it's absolutely funny that we found their found them and she didn't, and she's all bitching about it, like saying, "Oh shit, why'd you launch the nukes?" And it's available. <laughs> so. Just here collecting technical data. Because. Why I collect technical data is because. I told my enclave troops. Because I'm the general. Of the armed forces of the enclave. That. If you kill. Any Brotherhood of Steel soldiers. You'll be receiving the paint. So, say you kill 10 Brotherhood of Steel soldiers. You get the knight paint job. Kill 30. Or, no, sorry. Kill 25, you get the knight sergeant. Kill about 40, knight captain. Kill about 75, and you send me the screenshots of the bodies, or you collect their uniforms. I'll give you a BOS officer. Kill about 200, you'll get the paladin paint. <laughs> but since they don't have the Brotherhood tags, you know. It's like it's hard to keep track. So if you have our the, the uniforms and shit they drop or like a picture of their bodies, I'll allow it. But if we're on some special occasion, like if we had to disguise ourselves as Brotherhood of Steel soldiers and go to people's base camp and say, We're the Brotherhood of Steel and if you have technology and if you're using technology, you give it to us or we blow you up. On a faction. Do you think they deserve mercy from us? Exactly. Because they chose their faction. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't say you were doing daily ops. Join our team. We're in a private team. Me, private meet turd, Major Nova. Major Nova, you there? Want to do some daily ops? All right. All right. Join that public team, Nova. Yeah. Well, you gotta said something. <laughs> yeah. You already said two shot of explosive gas in plasma, right? Oh shit. I, oh, I walked forward. All good. No, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. They're relentless. I don't know. Melee kills? I thought that was... Ah, fuck it. Alright, let's see. They melee, right? So. Is your armor PvP? Wise. What kind of power? He's below us. Up. Yep. So. So we do have PvP armor our troops wear. ESA power armor. ESA power armor is like uh, assassins. All that. We never have a PvP infantry considering our PvP commander left to form his own. On his own. Yeah. But hey, I'd gladly help you out, man. Whatever we have in our armory, you can have. We're glad to help out a fellow patriot. Or fellow soldier. So how you rank up in the Enclave? It's easy. Participate in Enclave missions we do, uh, like weekly or monthly. Yes. Oh crap, Nova, I can't invite you. Your settings. Oh well. Cultist with the melee weapon. Bring it. Just stop. Just don't move. Never mind. 
Because like, when, I, when, I, when I say don't move, I mean like, don't move because there's a chance when you stop moving, it'll just come to you. Alright, spare the, these guys, enemies, all that bullshit. And these guys got guns. Relentless. Fucking annoying. The code is right behind you. I'll do it. Y'all start killing. One, two, go, go, go. Start killing shit. Alright. We need... We got... Two minutes and thirty seconds. He's a pipe revolver. This guy has a flamer. Seven more enemies. One's below us. One's in front of us. On the other side. Mothman Hatchling. Well done. Come on, one more enemy. Where are you? He's on your side. Good news. We tracked the final code down to a specific target. Bad news. It's looking to be way tougher than the rest. And Victoria. Head over to the final interceptor. I got it. Sorry, Enclave. I didn't even check what I got. Oh yeah, most likely. Thanks, Riata. Funny thing is, like, if you wanted a Hellfire skin and you missed out, there is a Nuclear Winter Hellfire skin, Minerva selling at Foundation just a week ago. Simply bought that because <laughs> with the other account banned, Nuclear Winter Hellfire skin? Might as well. I got both of them now. There's only... There's only one. There's only one Enclave Hellfire skin that it will truly be Hellfire. Yep. Huh, it's not saying I have any plans. 
Just two legendaries. Yes, they do. There's a lot of things in Appalachian that Bethesda has not answered. I mean, they focus more attention on the responders who were dead. And they still are dead. But for some reason, they just come back. I mean, that's us. I mean, the freaking lab. Oh my god, the dog is gonna bite my. Yep. Like, revolt, civil war, just wanting to get outside is like. You're gonna kill us all! To the, to the country, Major. We're fixing the problem. Yeah. I mean, yes, Thomas Eckhart was like... Uh, bad or good? I don't know. General Santiago was thinking more of, um, was on the right path, but it's more like continue to fight against communism. Both had good ideas, but it led them to their deaths. So I got a mission plan for tomorrow, probably at night. Oh wait, actually next week. Depends when I'm available, but...
So before we register you as full Enclave member, you're gonna need your ID. Head over to my uh, camp. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I just place it down. My radio tower. Wait a minute. Oh shit, I scrapped the scientists. Whoops. Yeah, I know. I just put it as. Well, whatever. It was supposed to be like um, a nuclear launch area of Fallout, or like say Blacklight Retribution. No. Uh, no. Wait, what? No. Homefront Revolution. Like uh, in the DLC, there was a nu nuclear silo, what it looked like. It's like a very small area. If I built a farm upstairs and it's like a hidden silo entrance of an underneath pathway. Yeah. Basically the glass dome area is not what it you I built it because when you launch a nuke, do you really want to see the the smoke covering your eyes and some shit? It's like... Basically, these, these, yeah, so over here was a prototype of what um, those barriers from Fallout 3 looked like. See if I could actually recreate that, but it ended up being too big. Yeah. Just ended up being too big. True. Could have actually thought about that. Hmm. Foot locker. Hey, it actually works. Foot locker.
true. Alright. So, I got work in the morning. But before anything, gotta take your photo. Either you keep your helmet on, or take it off. See the American flag with the carpet? Stand on the carpet, and... Back yourself up. A little bit more. All right. Align your character like a little bit to your left. There you go. Military pose if you like. Zoom in. 